Hi, this is Keith with Keith from Associates. And today uh, we're going to talk about an interesting topic that we get a lot of calls uh, for. Uh, about, you know, once a day or many times a week we get a call. Do you have any uh, owner financing out there? Um, it's somebody that has a challenge either in their job history or a challenge in their credit history. And a lot of times they think um, they, they, they don't have to come up with a down payment. And you say, well, are they a good idea? And first thing I'll say is that it all comes down to the terms. Now, typically, most often, an owner financing program is going to be into an advantage to the seller. The reason I say that is for a seller to be willing to tie up their property, and we already know what's going on with around the country and these foreclosure issues, and have the risk of trying to get out somebody out of their property if they don't pay, they have to take on some pretty big risk. So again, they know they're dealing with a potential buyer who obviously cannot buy through a you know a typical program. And they may or may not want credit uh, history. They may or may not want job history. They may or may want not want down payment. But typically, they're going to want some money down. It's going to be probably more than what you would have to pay in most programs. And they're going to charge you more money in most cases because it has to be to their advantage. Um, typically, the ones that are willing to do this are the ones that haven't been able to sell their property under the normal programs out there in a, in a proper price. So they've inflated their price. And then they typically want two or three points higher than the market interest rate. So that's something that you have to consider. They're, they're, so they're asking for a high rate. They're asking for typically uh, more money and you know for them to carry the risk. Now if you are going to do an owner financing, I recommend you do it where it's actually the seller has a mortgage. They file a mortgage, you pay the closing costs, it's like a normal deal. It's just that the seller now does not own the property, you own the property and they have a mortgage, they have a lien against the property. I think that's a lot cleaner. Um, it still may be to their advantage and your advantage and they can determine what kind of down payment. So these are things that you have to consider when you do these programs and some of the nicknames for these are you know contract for deed or like up north uh, when I was in Nebraska they call them land contracts. Each state has different rules and different Different programs that they allow legally and the state or the county are definitely going to want their stamps and the only doc stamps and their fees. So the only way I, in my opinion, a buyer is really protected is to go through the complete process and make sure that they've got everything in writing, everything recorded so that it's safe. Because the last thing you want to do is to be sincere, everything's great and the seller turns out not to perform and do what they say or God forbid they pass on and then you're dealing with the heirs and the heirs don't agree and you don't have everything in writing. So those are things to consider. Um, they are a viable option, but typically I think they're more to the seller's advantage, less likely to a buyer, except if you can get into something you couldn't have got into, maybe it is a good program for you. Keith Farrell, Keith Farrell Associates, have a great day.